Hi, this is Dr. Hooper from Real Time Lab, and I'm here today to explain to you how we do environmental sampling through our environmental kits that we provide to you through the, um, through the U.S. mail. The environmental kits will come to you in this kind of envelope, and it will be usually a green color, but it could be a different color, so just make sure it says environmental on the envelope. In the envelope, you will have a biohazard bag, which is much like a sandwich bag, but it has the word biohazard on it. You will have a sterile swab that is sealed. Make sure it's sealed. And then you will have three pieces of paper. One, you will have as a, uh, the instructions, which list our options uh, of what to sample. You will have a chain of custody that will go over, and you will have a credit card authorization. So there are three sheets of paper <coughs> to repeat, an envelope that may be green, may be another color, but it must say the word environmental on it. A biohazard bag that we put everything in once we seal it or once we collect it. And then we have a sealed swab and we have three sheets of paper. Now. We have options on how we will allow you to send the samples or how we suggest that the samples are sent. That is number one, if you see something that you want to test and uh, you can't collect it easily like dust or something, you can take this swab out of the sterile package and you can swab it along the area where there's mold or where you suspect there is some contamination. And then you take it and you put it back in the tube. So we're going to pretend that we have something like that now. We open the tube and it opens much like any other difficult tube. And you take it out, you crack the seal on it, you bring the swab out, you swab the area where you're going to be uh, suspecting there's mold or toxins and you roll it on there roll it then you place it very carefully back in here into the to the uh, sleeve push it all the way down and then you put it in the sterile bag okay now if you're doing that that's the the material that you're looking for for just the swamp. In the chain of custody, the chain of custody has to have the company name that did this, if it's, a, if it's an actual company. If not, it could be you as the company, if you're the, the client. And your address and who we contact and what your email is. Your email is most essential to put on there because that's how we send the results back to you. If we need your phone number, so if there's any problems with the phone or with the sample, we can call you and talk with you right away. We need all this material filled out in the upper uh, square. In the bottom square, it's called sample information. If you have a project name, whatever it is, like, um, your street name or something or your house whatever it is name your project because those of you who have two or three samples you may want to call it Sally's room or Jimmy's room that's your project when did you collect it the date it was collected is imperative that we know that and where was it collected what's the address what are the specimens collected and you have to print the name of the specimen say dust, um, swab of a, uh, of a uh, wall or whatever. And then your signature is most important. Now this is uh, important how we do this because we need for you to mark what you want. Do you want the quad mycotoxin panel? Remember a quad panel is really a family of four. It's testing for 15 mycotoxins, but we're, we're having a, a family of four being marked. 
you can mark up to three samples on this chain of custody form. If, if you have three samples, we will assume that you want all three samples tested for. And if you look at the bottom thing, the bottom line, it says up to three samples may be combined. So if you want all three samples um, tested, all you do is list them. Up to three samples may be combined and run as a composite. For this service, you list the sample numbers to be combined on one line. Now, let's go over that one more time. If you take three samples, you can send three samples in on this form. And if you, all, if you want them all done separately, you mark them on the three separate lines. If you are going to want them as a composite where you want us to mix all three together and do only one test because of pricing or whatever reason you want, then you only put the sample on one line. So let's take an example. You're going to do dust you're going to do a swab, or, and you're going to do dust from another uh, room. So you have two dusts and a swab. If you put all that on one line, we combine them all into one container, and we do the mycotoxin test on that, or the EMMA. And we're going to talk about the EMMA later. <coughs> but this is how you collect them. So to repeat, you add everything on the company information. You, if you're the special client, you are the company. If you're the sample, and once you get all that done, then you're going to list the sample, where it came from, what's important to you to note to us, and then list the samples on three separate lines, keeping in mind we will do three samples on one chain of custody. If you only want to do one sample, then you put them all on one line. The second, second paper is the environmental credit card authorization form. This is pretty self-explanatory. You just fill it out, put your credit card information in, and uh, send it. You authorize how much um, it will be that you're testing for. So if you're looking for an Emma, there's a certain price and uh, you will see that in the um, in the price that we indicate in, in the kit. And um, then the last thing is the instructions for the how you're going to sample. And if you do get that, um, you can uh, throw that away or keep it just in case you, you want something uh, to look at later. Okay, then once you're all done, you're going to take this and fold it and put it back in the kit. And then you're going to take the pieces of paper that you have filled out and you're going to put those in the kit. Fold them up so you can get them in the kit. And then you're going to seal it. So now it's one package. And then with this has come a UPS or a FedEx uh, form or an envelope and, and a mailing package uh, sheet, sheet that all you have to do is put that in, seal it, and make sure it gets to a FedEx or a UPS office or box. And we will get it in two to three days. So. In summary, this, this whole procedure has been just to look at the environmental kit and how we want to explain to you how to collect the samples and fill out the forms. Thank you.